What's up, everybody? Eddie here. And uh, with my Note 8 from Xfinity Mobile around the corner, I wanted to give you my review on Sprint. Um, I've had them for the last three months, and um, it has not been enjoyable. So, going off of off of the service itself, um, calling and texting are good. They're not great. Uh, you will experience drop calls, and you will have issues with text messages not going through here and there. Um, if you don't, if you happen to go to Sprint and you don't have a phone that is a call is that doesn't allow the calling plus feature to be enabled at the moment. You will not be able to send text messages or pictures uh, while on the phone. You'll be able to receive text messages, but you won't be able to send them. Um, I, I got the S8 Plus through Sprint, and then I, the feature of the Calling Plus came through about two weeks later, and it's been amazing ever since. I've come to I've come to Sprint from T-Mobile, so on the GSM network, I was some you know. Texting while on the phone was something I've grown accustomed to. This is my very first time with a, a CDMA network. Um, so that that takes some getting used to. And right now, the only new phone compatible with Calling Plus is the S8 and the S8 Plus. Not even the Note 8 is uh, um, features the Calling Plus, Calling Plus feature at the moment. So keep that in mind. Um, like I said... Texting, uh, very few and far in between will it happen where, uh, not being on the phone, of course, I'm talking about just using your phone, you know, getting, texting people, whatever. Usually when you're uh, going from outdoor to indoor, that's when, that's when you might experience it. And me, um, Sprint says they have LTE 4G. Now, when you're outdoors, yeah, as soon as you walk into a building, for me, uh, I've had this happen to me at every restaurant I've gone to eat at so far. Um, every Walmart, it will knock down from LTE to 3G, uh, which is great. You can still make phone calls and text messages, but uh, if you're if you're trying to listen to YouTube or something, you got your headset on, you're listening to YouTube, it's going to be unbearable. So keep that in mind. Um, I'm not saying it happens in every building, but it does happen. Um. Now, the data, data itself is, uh, they have two, it has two modes. It's either great or it's non-existent. And when I say great, I mean your status bar has to be full for you to, it has to be full service, you know, your full, your, your service bar has to be full. You have to be on LTE and you will have a, exceptional, amazing internet. But if that thing is below ha the halfway mark on your status bar or your service bar and it still says LT LTE, it's damn near non-existent. It loads slow as hell. And again, I've had, I've come from, I'm coming from T-Mobile. I've always had data. Uh, T-Mobile is a pretty good company. Um, I give them a B. Um, but when it comes down to it, I give Sprint a D. Um, that's because they offer great plans. Uh, right now they have a plan, uh, $90 for all lines on a family plan. This offer expires March 2018. And I don't know if they still do, but I know they have a uh, BOGO on iPhones. Um, and they have the iPhone for life and uh, Android for life deal. Um, if you're into that sort of thing and they, and that's cool. They offer cheap plans at the moment. And if you're just using it for calling and texting, you're great. You're going to be just fine. Uh, but if you're a power user, you need that data. I recommend staying away from Sprint. Now, customer service, on the other hand, um, you, you don't have long wait times with Sprint, but you get a lot of people that, don't do anything for you. Now, I'm going to tell you my personal experience within the three months I've been here. Um, 
first month when I signed everybody up. It's a family plan, three lines, uh, two iPhones, one Android. Um, I set it up under the $90 promotion, right? So it's $90 for all three lines. It's not 90 per line. It's 90 for all three. Um, plus then our phones, which mine is 30, my sister's is 40, and then my mother's is 35, I believe. Um, so I signed this up for that. They told me it was going to be 215 a month with taxes and fees and all that stuff. I said, that's not bad. That's fine. Let's do it. So I signed everybody up, got our phones, and then the first month was fine. Like I said, I paid the 215 The very next month, our second month, the bill went up to 360 something dollars. I was beside myself. I contacted uh, Sprint. I called them up. Uh, they said that there was an error on their end, that they put us under the wrong plan. Uh, I had my own plan. My sister and mother had their own. I don't understand yet. We were all under a family plan. I don't understand how that works, but whatever. So they corrected it. They, they credited me $40 on the spot for the inconvenience. And they said it'll take seven to 10 days for them to repair the uh, account. So I waited to the 10th day, giving them uh, more time. And I called up and they were able to, cor they say they corrected the, um, the plan, but I still didn't see the credit for the, re the extra money that I was charged that should I should not been charged. Uh, called them up. Uh, they told me that it should happen within 24, 48 hours. I waited the two days, nothing. I called up again, nothing. I contacted, um, my last, uh, my last hope was contacting the chat service on online and uh, they were actually able to help. The dude told me within again, within 12 to four, he told me within 12 to 24 hours, I'll see it. And I called at about nine o'clock in the evening and around 1130 in that same evening, I got a no email notification letting me know that my account had changed. So I went on to check it out and they finally credited me, credited my account, what I was owed. And the bill went back down to 215 and that was phenomenal. And then the third month, it was 250 Well, this time it was about 220 or whatever. Um, and that's fine as long as we stay within that ballpark. But they can, like, they'll tell you one thing, but you need to keep an eye on that bill. It will definitely fluctuate a couple bucks here, a couple bucks there. And another thing to keep an eye out on is BOGO. When they tell you buy one and get one, number one, what they don't tell you is, is that you have to pay the first two months of the device, right? That's not too bad, but you have to keep an eye on your bill. I cannot stress to anyone who has Sprint or thinking about getting Sprint, this is the only company that uh, I've, I've dealt with where I keep a close eye on my bill. And don't get me wrong. I look at others. When I had T-Mobile, I always checked out my bill. But this one with Sprint, I'm always, I'm always standing over there with a freaking magnifying glass and making sure every nook and cranny is, is explored of that bill. Uh, the first two months you pay for, and then after the third month and on, they will credit the account, the amount of the phone. So third month, I looked at my bill, and guess what? They were still charging me for the iPhone. So when I called up, they uh, weren't even going to credit me the right amount. They were going to credit me for my Samsung when it's the iPhone that's under the BOGO. I had no idea. Sometimes I don't think they know what they're talking about over there under uh, on at the call center for Sprint, but... That's just something you have to deal with. They will answer the phone. You have short you have short wait times, but some of them they're not very helpful. Uh, so that's been my review on Sprint. My time with Sprint, um, with the bill and just the service in general. Um, I love the Note lineup. Uh, I've always been a Note fan. I've actually switched from i uh, from Apple to Android. My very first phone was the Note 4 and now the Note 8. Um, I'm just, I'm a power user. I use the S Pen. I love the, the functionality. I love the multi, uh, the multi features, you know, the multitasking features. And honestly, I was going to stick it through with, with um, Sprint. 
I was gonna get a no date through them, but then I, I contacted them and they have no estimated date on when the calling plus feature will be available on the no date. And um, I at first when I got the S8, I had no money down. And now there's now I talk to them and they're saying it's like a three hundred dollar deposit down. I said, you know what? No thanks. I'm not paying for a phone that I'm not going to be able to fully use and and really enjoy under a crappy service. And uh, the calling plus feature, another thing that just I just reminded myself, the calling plus feature I've had on my phone, I've had again for about you know almost three months with this phone, and this last month now, it's been uh, non-existent. If the feature is turned on and I call someone, they can't hear me. I have to hang up, turn it off, call them back, and they'll hear me. Or if they call me, it'll just automatically knock off. I always have Calling Plus turned on, and when someone calls me, it'll just automatically turn it off, and then um, I'll answer, not knowing that it's turned off, and there you go. I, you know, I'm on this phone call, and now I can't check out anything. Uh, I can't check emails or whatever that somebody might have sent me while being on the phone. So that's kind of a pain, too. I've been, I've honestly been turning my, uh, I've been resetting my, no, my, I'm sorry, my S8 Plus here uh, one time a day. Every day, once a day, I've been resetting it, turning it off and on to see if that works. I've deactivated the Calling Plus, reactivated it, updated the profile, updated the PCL or whatever it's called, and nothing seems to work. Uh, I've checked the updates. There's nothing going on right now. So, um this is a feature that they just debuted uh, this year, and it started off great, but it's now working out right now. And so that's been real. That's really it for me with Sprint. I give them a D minus. Um, I uh, the only reason they don't get an F is simply because of the plans. And if you are just going to use this for talking and texting, you're going to be fine. Uh, but if you're a power user, you're a younger person, you want to be able to surf the web and be on the phone or just surf the web in general, you know, you're waiting on someone, you're waiting on your girlfriend, you're waiting on your wife and she's taking forever in the mall and you want to search something, but the mall, the sprint service in the mall sucks because sprint in general, uh, isn't that great. So keep that in mind. Uh, I would not recommend, uh, anyone switching to sprint. Uh, that's just my opinion. Uh, let me know how you feel down in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think about Sprint. Uh, if you have them, what's your experience been like? And if you have any horror stories from times you were with them, let me know down below. Thanks for listening. Peace out, everybody.